One of the main goals when creating a WWE video game is to recreate the look and feel of a WWE match, not just in terms of the moves and the animations, but also visually mimicking the camera angles and the reactions to big moments that we see on TV. This was something that WWE games made a key focus for WWE 12 when they introduced new Predator technology aimed at recreating the visual style seen on WWE TV. Whilst a lot of the changes made in WWE 12 are still present today, there are a lot of additional things that 2K could do to further improve the look of the game and recreate more of a WWE experience. Today we're going to take a look at one of the new features that I would like to see introduced, the addition of a cinematic camera which could be used to highlight specific moments or moves. One example where this would work perfectly is during wake-up taunts, as these tend to take place during big moments in a match that lead up to the use of a finisher, therefore it only makes sense to present these as a big deal. To show how much of a difference that this makes, here's footage of how wake-up taunts currently work with the camera reverting to the default hard cam as the taunt is performed. So that's how Wake Up Tones currently look. Now let's take a look at the same footage, this time with the cinematic camera applied, and see what you make of the change. Comparing the footage of the regular presentation and the presentation of the cinematic camera, the cinematic version looks a lot more like the presentation that we see on TV, and it helps put across that this is a pivotal moment in the match, which I think makes for a big change. Visually, it also makes for a stunning change in the graphics, as the cinematic camera angles really complement the models and show them off closer and in greater detail, which is something that you miss out on when viewing them with the default camera. Having seen how much of a difference the cinematic camera can make for wake-up taunts, let's take a look at another example, this time for pinfalls, or specifically near falls. Having just hit John Cena with a spear, here we have Roman Reigns making a pinfall, only for Cena to kick out at the last possible second. Regardless of who it is that you're playing as, last second kickouts are some of the most dramatic moments that you can see in a match, therefore just like wake up taunts, these two should be treated as a big deal, and that's where having a cinematic camera would make a big difference. Here's how a kick out at the last possible moment currently looks, with the camera again reverting back to the hard cam, with a nice shocked animation taking place that shows the attacker in disbelief, before then going on to argue with the referee. Having seen how a last minute kick out currently looks, now let's take a look at the same footage again, this time with the cinematic camera. As you can see from the footage, this further improves the presentation, providing a cutscene-like experience that really shows off the shock of the attacker and the disbelief of the crowd, which, whilst the animation is the same, the change in the camera really emphasises that and again mimics what we see on TV. So that's two examples where a cinematic camera could make a big difference, but there's plenty more scenarios where it could be used, as the same camera could be used to show off regular taunts whenever an opponent is down, as this would again improve the presentation of the game and show how the crowd reacts to a superstar taunting them. Another benefit of the cinematic camera is that it also allows for more surprise elements to take place during matches, as due to the camera closing in and focusing on the player, this obscures the view of the ringside area, which allows opponents to get back to their feet out of shot and then surprise the player with an attack or a quick roll-up, as well as allowing for interference to take place out of nowhere, as there's no warning that someone's coming down to ringside, making the attack much more of a surprise. So there's a few ways that a cinematic camera could really help to improve the presentation in WWE 2K22 and make it more like we see on TV. Now obviously a lot of it only makes sense for single player matches when you're playing against the AI as it would obstruct the view for other players if you're playing multiplayer, but overall I think it would make for a great change not just when playing but also when watching videos of people playing the game online as it makes the matches look more exciting at least from a visual standpoint. So that's my idea for a cinematic camera and cinematic reactions in WWE 2K22. Let me know what you think of this idea in the comments, and if you would like to see more videos like this, please do hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching this video, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.